All right, some of y'all might know that when I bought this motor, I bought I bought a used LS2 out of a wreck GTO. And it came with this fast uh, 92 millimeter, good old Wilson. But it had the stock, you know, LS2 throttle body on there. And that, I don't believe it was 92 millimeters. And it's drive by wire. Well, I don't want to try to hunt down and find. Ooh, this also came in, y'all. This is my shifter. Brand new. Leather's all good condition and everything. And it matches my steering wheel. Don't got to do no extra work. Love it. But we got goodies. A real 92 millimeter. Yeah, baby. And drive-by cable. So it's just save me some headache, please. Save me some headache. Well, it's August 1st. The motor is in. It's been in for a while now. Y'all seen that video. My, my carport is a disaster again. Headers, got to return them. Will not fit. So dreams and hopes of long tube headers, not happening. I'm going to just go with the, the Holly Blackheart manifold that's in there so it'll be real short it just stops like right there not a big deal but i wanted the long tube headers but i also want this kit to sit in there super tight and be as centralized as low and as far back as i can get it and the reason i went with this kit is because it gave me all those options and these long tube headers are set up for motor mounts that have it more forward and higher and that is not what i want so this is where we are I've already talked to Jigs. They're going to take them back. We got alternators, power steering pumps, reservoirs, everything laid out trying to see how I'm going to do this. I can keep my original GTO water pump that came on the LS2. The, you, know, you can see where the belt ran. It's just going to run back here. Not a big deal. Um, I guess I'm going to go with, uh, uh, I think it's, ICT billet accessory brackets because they actually have their stuff in stock and Holly does not But either way, but I got the the water pump put back on intake back on coil packs back on I finally got the oil dipstick put in And I put oil in the motor. I have the starter put back on What else what else? Oh stripped a bolt Dang it Anyone can tell me what in the world this is for. It was just a, a little rubber grommet looked like was just over that capping that off. To me, it seems like a vent. Not quite sure. It had the Mighty Mouse catch can on it. I'm going to try to reuse that. Throttle cable. I had the wife sit in it yesterday and I hooked it up to make sure when I floored it, it opened the throttle all the way. And it, it's got enough stroke. So I don't, just got to get one of them brackets that go right here. Maybe make me one. I don't know. They're, all the ones I've found are real weird looking. I don't know. That's, that's later. I've ordered a flexible dipstick for the transmission that I can just like mount to the firewall somewhere. That's probably going to happen after current performance. And I know what I'm doing with my wires because I don't want to run anything up the back of this motor until I get to that point. I cut this fender well to try to fit them headers in. So I went to the u pull yard yesterday, got me a new fender, that one. So this one is a little rusty, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and then clean my passenger side one up, spray paint them black. This I'm just gonna throw away because I cut it back here. Oh well. And this is a score I wasn't expecting to find. This is a steering column out of, uh, I think it was an 89. Don't quote me on that. S10, but it was a standard. So it doesn't have that column shifter. And it, it didn't come with cruise or none of that, just like mine. I'm definitely going to swap my windshield washer and blinker stick out for this. this that's all I want. I don't know what I was thinking. But this one actually has a flasher button. Mine is broke. Can't figure it out. 
So I'm going to have to end up having to swap out the ignition. And obviously I want my nice steering wheel back on it. But I went in and looked at all my wiring diagram and everything yesterday. And I believe that everything should just be a plug and play. I got to get that took off so I can put my, my Holly steering shaft on there and not have to fight it when I slide this thing in. And that gets rid of that that little shifter lever that's on that back side inside the uh wheel wheel not saving me no no time or money for sure because i had to buy that and i got to spend a bunch more time there finally got the tail lights put back in bumpers on lights wired battery is in gas tanks in i want to try and maybe loosen the u-bolts on this rear end and see if maybe I got them I got them in a bind and that's why my my wheel I don't know if you can see why it's on the jacks try to get an actual representation of it so you see how far out that sticks that's a ways out this one is flush and I can't move the bed over any more than I have so I need to try to get that axle to come this way a little bit. Maybe I made a mistake when I tightened them bolts down and that would be an easy fix. I doubt it. Nothing has been an easy fix. So what are we going to work on today? I ordered a bracket that goes right here. It bolts down and it's got a little flat plate that that was part of that holds your accelerator cable so that you can do all the wah, wah, wah. Well, that didn't work. One, it was it's too far back. Two, my accelerator cable that was factory with this S10 was kind of ate up. So I, I wanted to find a replacement. So what I did, I needed a shorter one because the factory one was too long. I went to a good old U pullet yard and i found this one i got I, I got two of them one was just an inch shorter and then this one's like two inches shorter and this one came out of a second gen s10 and the the one that was just an inch shorter i got out of a g20 van and uh it actually works just as good as this one just since this one's the shortest one i wanted to make this bracket with this because it, it seems to have the best um, pedal feel out of the two that I got. So that's what I'm going to go with. Um, this had a, a dual setup for like a pickup truck or something. So I, I cut it in half. I don't know if I can, you can really see that. So I went ahead and cut it right here. Got it off the original bracket. And I got some angle iron. I've got to cut a little bit more off of I made too long but I've already drilled the holes and um, I'll guess I'll show you that next all right throttle body is in it's mounted it's got all the womp womps I need now I had the wife get in it and floor it make sure that it went to wide open throttle and then back down so that's always good got my bracket made this started out as a piece of angle iron I cut and trimmed it up Put little angles on there. Tried to hide the fact that it's a piece of angle iron, but I mean, you can only do so much. Don't judge my welds, I'm not a welder. All right, but there she is. One issue I wanted to get solved today, check.